what's up everyone this is Bill today I got a unboxing and uh, installation video for you guys uh, this was sent over to me from my friends at Providence spider and motorcycle accessories uh, this is their cell phone docking station uh, there will be a link in the description below this video to go purchase this as well as, well as uh, pricing so we'll unbox it and we'll take a look at it show you everything that comes inside so our little instructions here so you are going to have a RAM mount. So this will be the RAM mount that's included in the kit. And you will have to screw this together like that. So that's what it should look like when you're done. These arms unscrew with a Phillips head screw to adjust where they go. And the pro this simply works like this. Okay, so this top part stretches. That's going to be the top. The one that's solid is going to be the bottom. This is a six inch phone. Locks in there really sturdy. It's not going nowhere. Okay, so you're going to get that RAM mount included in your kit. You are going to get a one inch RAM ball. This is the standard ball for the RAM mount. Okay, and that nut right there is a five eighths. Tighten that down. Okay, and then you'll get these two little uh, rubber fingers. They will slide on to two of these down here to help grip the phone. You can slide them onto here as well if you wanted to help grip the phone. You'll get your arm. This is the pretty much the standard arm that comes with most RAM mounts. It's about the medium sized one. I know there's a shorter one and a longer one. So that is a standard one inch ram mount. A little arm there. Okay. And then you are going to have the actual brackets. So you have a left and a right. You can mount a ram ball here. You can mount a ram ball here. These holes on them are for their uh, waterproof switches so for turning not say if you added led something like that you could turn them on and off they offer switches on their website as well and then they also offer this kit with or like this without the sockets but or you can buy the sockets separately so they do have a 12 volt waterproof cigarette lighter plug and you'll rock this tab back and forth and punch it out of there you can see it's just barely connected and you can also get a dual usb port that is waterproof as well so you could use the US, you could order two of the USB port, or you could order a cigarette lighter plug and a USB port. You could put them on whatever side you want. You can mount your two accessory switches and four RAM balls total. I'll show you how that RAM ball looks on there. Okay, so they're powder coated. So you do have a little bit of powder coating. So you're gonna have to go through and thread them in there slowly. Make sure there's no powder. Make sure those threads are nice and clean when you get these out of the box. Okay, no big deal. So like I said, there's four possible mounting points for the RAM mount. Okay, and this is going to keep it away from your gauge cluster and everything. Okay. So this will sit on each side. If we were sitting on the seat of the bike, it's going to look like that. Okay. And then you're going to get a set of spacers and a set of washers. And then you're going to get some longer bolts. These are stainless steel grade 8 bolts. And you will have a metal washer and a little Teflon washer as well. And the metal washer needs to go up here, then the Teflon, down through here, and then stainless steel washer, and then spacer into the handlebar bracket. Okay, so you'll get four of those included in the kit. And the tools you'll need, Phillips head screwdriver, a uh, socket with an extension, socket wrench, a five millimeter Allen head, 
and a 5 8 open end wrench. That is everything you'll need. I'll show you the bike. Okay, so this is my 2019 Can-Am Riker. And as you can see, I'm doing what most people are probably doing already. I have a ram mount with a handlebar bracket that's just a little U-bolt. And then it goes to the little arm. And then you have the X mount. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with this. It's been a good system. But you're going to see when we uh, take this off here, the damage that it did to the handlebars. Being that it's a U-bolt right on the powder coating on my handlebars on my brand new bike. Okay, and then you're going to get to witness a much cleaner look by having that bracket up here and getting it away from these handlebars or getting it so it's not being a U-bolt. And if you're wanting to know, yes, this is a vinyl wrap. I know lots of people are going to ask. It always happens. So anyway, we're going to get started on mounting it up and we're going to get this off here. I'll show you guys the damage that that did once we get that off there. So I'm going to take a minute and get this off here, and then we'll get to installing the new setup. Here we go. We got the uh, ram mount, the old U-shaped bolt. And you can see here, here it focus. you can see the scarring on my powder coat. Okay, so that's what you don't want to do. If you go with the setup like this new setup from Providence uh, Spider and Motorcycle Accessories, you're not going to have to worry about that. So save yourself the headache because now I either go get my handlebars repowder coated or I buy new bars because I'm picky about everything and I don't want those marks on there. Okay, so save yourself the, that headache. Do it right the first time. Get something that's going to mount up here and what these guys have to offer is going to be an amazing setup. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions so we understand how everything's supposed to go. And uh, then we'll get started with this... Uh, Mounting. Okay. So here we have their instructions that they give you, and they do give you pictures. Everybody loves pictures in their instructions. So right like I was telling you, removable plugs for the DIY sockets, 12 volt or USB. That's those little tabs that you can punch out really easily. Uh, left bracket, right bracket. The front angles downward, like I was telling you. Okay, so this angle here is going to angle downward facing you when you're sitting on the bike. Hey, okay, one inch ram mounting ball. Hey, okay, optional mounting holes for accessory switches. That's holes A right here. That's these holes right here. And then slide adjustment for custom fit. So you can slide it up or down, get it where it fits how you like it. And then one and four, four mounting options for one inch ram ball and up to four ram balls. You could have four of them mounted on there if you wanted to. So you have your GPS system or, you know, on your phone and your wife's phone because she's riding on the back. Now, whatever the case may be. Okay, so product overview. Close-up view, removal plugs. Okay, that's, that's the plugs I was telling you about. Uh, you can use a DIY socket. You can order something, you know, you can order something from a different website that fits that. Just make sure you measure it. And I will measure them and let you know how big they are. Uh, install your own sockets if you wanted to. Okay, we're going to start on the left-hand side. Top and bottom bolts. We're going to remove those two from the left-hand side. And that's where we're going to start. Okay, insert one spacer in each screw. Place the silver washer on top of the spacer. Place the left bracket on top of the silver spacers, or the washer with the spacer. And then place the black nylon washer on top of the left bracket. That washer will protect your paint. Okay. Uh, step six, place the metal washer on top of that black nylon washer. And it says there that it could be black or stainless steel in color, depending on what they have in stock. Okay, insert the stainless steel bolts, retighten bolts to factory specifications. Now, here's my suggestion here. Use your best judgment. Use a torque wrench, but Can-Am specs, and this is what they say right here. 
torque specifications for factory. 89 inch pounds plus or minus 18. What most places do is they'll split that plus or minus number in half. So you're talking nine. Okay, so we're talking 98 inch pounds of torque. And it says here, yes, these are official Canon specifications. I have the book on the Riker. I read it. These are what it says in the book. Okay, and then repeat the same steps for the right side. You can use this tabletop right here, this, this little uh, assembly that they have for reference. Bolt. Here, let me see that a little better. Okay, for reference. So, bolt, metal washer, nylon washer, bracket, metal washer, spacer. Okay. They have a liability statement, obviously. So you're agreeing that it's uh, your fault if you break anything. Place the black washer. There is a black, I believe it's nylon. Uh, there is a black washer on the back that it goes on the one inch ball. And that's to keep it from scarring up and uh, get it to sit down nice and snug. So inside of here. Under here, you'll have a washer as well. And your kit's only going to come with one and one inch ball. I have a few of these laying around. Okay, so let's get started. We'll put it, we'll show you what it looks like. Get that off the bike. And uh, get those old bolts, the black bolts that are on the bike. We'll get those out. And uh, we'll get started with the assembly. It shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to install it. We're going to start out. Uh, right over here on this left side, we're going to bolt these bolts. And run these thread all the way through, so don't be surprised first time you take them off if you see some a little bit of specks down here on your bike. That's just powder coating. Maybe a little dirt in there. Okay, you're doing one side at a time. That way you don't end up moving your handlebars from their position where you have them, you know, as far as rolling them up and down or sliding them left to right. So that's why you're going to do one side and then do the other side. Don't take all four of these bolts out. Okay, I, normally some of my videos I do like a hyperlapse. Um, I'm going to do this one side just to show you how simple it really is. And then we'll knock out that other side. Okay, so now we're going to grab our left side bracket. And you can determine which side is the left side. This should be angled down. This should be up towards the dash. And these holes are 29.8 millimeter. That's what I got. I used the digital caliper. And 29.8 millimeters. So if you can find a socket other than what they sell on their website, you could you could find your you know use your own socket. So the first thing that goes in here, you can lay everything out on the bench. Your two spacers, okay, front and back. Then you are going to have a washer on each one of these. Okay, don't do that. Okay, so you're gonna have a washer on each one. And now goes the bracket and your bolts. And remember your bolts like this. This is gonna be that Teflon washer and then this black washer, steel stainless steel washer. Okay, so now they're going to go on here, like so. Okay, we got one down in there. Okay, another way, the easier way to do this, I just wanted to do that on, on camera so you guys see, you know, take your time, be patient. 
The other way you can do this is you can take this bracket, flip it upside down, slide your washer and then your spacer on, and then kind of hold these in place and set everything down in there. Okay, whatever works best for you. And you see, you do have quite a bit of adjustment, right? Like a full inch there, sliding it forward or backward, wherever you're comfortable with it. Okay, so to start out, we're just gonna put ours right in the middle. Actually, I may. there okay what I'm going to just kind of hand tighten them down and there's a gap here it does sit above this rounded piece on the handlebar you know mounting point so we'll get that down to torque spec It's 99 inch pounds. I really don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, there you go. That's one side on there. Obviously, you got your ram ball and whatnot. So get the other side mounted up. Okay guys, so that's it. We are done. We have now added lots of room for all kinds of things up here. Remember you got the waterproof accessory switches that can go in those holes, the sockets to charge your phone or whatever device you have up here. You can put a cigarette lighter plug on one side, dual USB port on the other side. Okay, you got four positions for the ram mount ball, the one inch ball. Okay, and you don't have to use the phone holder that they have. If you don't like it, you can use any phone holder and any RAM mount, uh, any type of RAM mount product will mount up here, including like uh, RAM mount to GoPro, that type of thing. Okay, I've also seen like the RAM mount to the Garmin, you know, GPS system. So now we have all kinds of options up in this whole area. So this kit really opens up a lot of room for stuff for you to add on down the road. And it took us, what, maybe 20, 25 minutes, if that, to do the install. Very simple. And I did go down to 99 foot-pounds. So that is the torque specs. Or 99 inch-pounds, excuse me. 99 inch-pounds is what I went down to on these. Okay. So as you can see, came out really nice. So go check these guys out. There will be a link in the description with pricing information and everything. Providence Spider and Motorcycle Accessories. Absolutely amazing company. They're a small company on the East Coast. Okay, so everything is done in small batches. These guys pay attention to detail, quality work. Again, these are stainless steel, powder coated. This isn't this isn't aluminum with spray paint. These are stainless steel with powder coat. Okay, stainless steel grade A bolts. Stainless steel spacers, so all all really nice hardware. And if you know anything about the ram mount system, ram mount's not cheap. So they got a really good, really good little system here. So we'll take a walk around the bike and enjoy some music. You guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. That helps me out tremendously. Okay, go check them out. Providence Spider and Motorcycle Accessories. Big shout out to those guys. Awesome company. All right, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>